Hey guys, got some of the rusty iron out and doing a workout in the garage. So I thought I'd share a, a video pertinent to the topic this week of men's health. Um, it's accompanying my blog post on low testosterone and um, natural ways that we can um, manage that. So one of the components uh, from a behavioral standpoint is to lift a lot of weights. You know, resistance training is um, the modality of choice when you're you're dealing with low testosterone. So, um, again, as I mentioned in the post, it's not just older males that have to deal with it. It's um, you know, it's something that can be prevented just by adopting healthy habits. So, uh, lifting weights is one of them, and not only lifting weights, but lifting weights to muscular fatigue is very important to keep up the. Um, uh, the muscle tissue as you know to defy aging there's an age-related decline after about the age of 30 that begins 1% um, every year in your lean body mass so you, that's important to keep that up so lifting weights is um, a safeguard against that so when lifting we want to focus on compound movements and I, I see so many people struggle with simple hip hinging and a deadlift. So I wanted to hit on that today. Um, deadlifting is very important. Uh, it's a very useful skill. You encounter it every day. Um, it's, it's essential for spinal health. Everybody should know how to do it. Um, so you should be confident walking up to a bar with a lot of weight on it and being able to lift it. So. I'm going to show you the, the basics of that. Um, it sounds easy to do, but it's very easy to do wrong. So there's one way to do it right, really, and a thousand ways to do it wrong. I've seen it all, um, but it's very basic and important. So secondarily, lifting weight in this manner, you're leveraging the body's strongest lever um, on the deadlift. So. It's, it's a great way to load up and, and gain strength. So um, there's just packed with benefits. It's, and it's not only lower body, you're working your lats, your, your lats, your core, uh, it involves everything together, all systems working in unison. It involves uh, focus on breathing. And it's just overall a great lift that everybody should know how to do, but especially um, as a way to combat low testosterone. It's a great way to, to maintain muscle mass. Um, secondarily, when you are deadlifting, it opens up neural pathways. So temporarily for your workout, you wanna start with a compound lift like the deadlift or squat because it actually opens up that neural pathway and it makes the other exercises you do more responsive. So say you do a deadlift and you want to go and do, you know, isolated lower body after. Those exercises are going to be, are re going to recruit more muscle fibers because you started with the deadlift, just because the neural pathways are opened up. So it's, it's a very useful thing to know how to do. Um, you do want to do it first early on in your workout for that reason. Um, and you do want to be confident on a heavy bar, like I said. So I'm going to show you some quick um, pointers on how to do this. Hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be able to um, take what I said here and apply it. So if you want help, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, we can do a video training coaching session on that. Uh, if, if you want me to watch your, your technique and to give you pointers live in person, happy to do that. So anyway, Let's get started. So here's my bar set up. Due to a, a little bit of lack of flexibility in my hamstring, I block it up on a couple of uh, two buys. So you, if you're tight, it's okay to block it up. There's no problem with that. Okay, especially in as you the tighter you are the harder it is to get into position so when you walk up to the bar you're going to place your shins right on it you want the bar to travel along the midline of the body or as close to it as possible so
So when you're on the bar, the first thing you want to do, break at the hip, not the knee. Okay, this is hip driven exercise. So you're going to break at the hip, keep your chest open, core tight, you're braced along the spine. You're pushing your hips back, keeping the shins behind the bar, keeping the knees behind the bar, head up. You should be able to stare straight ahead of you when you're doing a deadlift. So here's my position. My chest is tracking in front of the bar. Okay, I see this all the time. This is recipe for disaster for your spine. You need to set it, get your shoulders back, and compress through the hip until you're in a good position. Bend the knees as you need to, but this is primarily hip driven. Notice my hips are way above my knees. Okay, and from here, we're gonna ease the bar by squeezing the hips. So you're gonna squeeze the, or the glutes rather. You're gonna start by squeezing the glutes and the bar is just gonna travel and your head is gonna stay up until you lift. All legs, okay, and then on the way down, reverse that. So you're gonna start getting your chest forward and set it down, okay? At the bottom, breathe in tight, head forward, up, reverse it down. So there you have some basic um, techniques to use. It's all hip driven, core must be tight, and chest forward of the bar. Um, play it back in slow-mo, but um, everybody should know how to do this properly, especially those wanting to build muscle and strength. So again, comment if you want help, I'm here for you. And the goal is to get everybody doing this. It's great strengthening.